This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the chairman and CEO of Gold Royalty, Mr. David Garofalo. David, it is great to have you back on. How are you today, sir? I'm delighted to talk to you. I'm great, Gerardo. Thanks for asking. Well, I, I reached out because I thought with the Fed blinking yesterday, that's kind of how I'm interpreting his his words and the press conference and the decision yesterday. With the Fed blinking, I thought who better to get on the telephone and have a conversation about where you see Fed policy p- pivoting towards or if you see Fed policy pivoting. And then, of course, I want to get your take on how gold royalty is positioned. But I also understand you're down at Rick Rule's conference, which I understand is getting some pretty good traction. How's uh, how's the sentiment down there? It's really good. Uh, look, there's a, a, a broad array of generalist investors here, uh, many of them high net worth, and they can invest in any industry and they choose to invest their time investor travel dollars and learning more about the natural resources business because like us they think the cycle is coming particularly for precious metals excellent let's get right into yesterday's fed decision the fed raised rates but it was the commentary that i thought created a a a bullish sentiment in the stock market um in the bond market and definitely in the precious metal space i mean silver today is up over six percent gold is up nearly two percent and up three percent since the decision yesterday what's your take on that david Look, I, I think he was very cautious in his language, uh, being Jerry, Jerome Powell, Jay Powell from the Federal Reserve, and you know, not signaling overly strongly that he would raise interest rates in the next cycle. He was, he said he would do what was appropriate. Um, but it's interesting. He said he thought they could avoid a recession. And then, lo and behold, the GDP numbers came <laughs> up this morning, just the day after his presentation. And we are technically in a recession in the U.S. with two consecutive quarters of contraction. So you can foresee, I think, on the horizon, the need to pivot, particularly given the debt levels that uh, we're carrying um, as an economy, uh, whether it's at the government, corporate or individual level. We're three times the debt level on a, on a per capita basis than we were in the last big inflationary cycle in the 70s. So there's very little latitude for the Federal Reserve to tighten in a very significant fashion to bring inflation back into check. A lot of that debt needs to be serviced within the next two years. And I think that gets overlooked, right? I think, you know, the Fed clearly has the data and is looking at it. And and I, I think you're 100% right, David. I think they're looking at this and saying, well, yes, we need to look tough on inflation. The inflation none of us saw coming and that we then call transitory that now is public enemy number one. But I think they're also looking at how much of that debt needs to be refinanced within the next two years. And there is no way that they continue to tighten, in my opinion. Opinion, um, knowing that that is coming down the pipeline. Let's talk about the pipeline. You have eight royalties on producing assets. You have 20 assets in development. You have positioned the company beautifully for what I think is going to be a historic precious metals bull market. Talk to me a bit about the news here earlier this month. You received initial royalty payments from Newmont's producing mine. And as I mentioned, you have a portfolio that's as robust as any royalty company in the space. Well, we're very fortunate to have a royalty on board, and it's in northern Ontario. And and, uh, we know it very well because when I was running Gold Corp, we actually built that mine. It's the first all-electric underground mine in the world. And obviously, very, um, very highly scored on an ESG basis. Um, the other significant news we got was Beaufort, uh, a refinancing and uh, restart of a new mine in northwestern Quebec by Monarch, poured its first gold this week. So we now have two new cash flowing royalties to supplement what was already a very strong growth profile. And this all underpins, along with the 20 development stage assets that you uh, correctly pointed out, underpin 60% compounded annual growth in our revenue over the next five to 10 years. And that's industry leading at every scale. What comes next? I got to believe that, you know, I, I, what I know of your career, you're not one to sit back and just kind of wait for a bull market to develop. Are you still looking for accretive opportunities if they present themselves? And that's the key word. It has to be accretive. Uh, we walked away from a deal uh, elemental earlier this year when we were invited to bid against ourselves, and we saw no additional accretion by doing that. So we were disciplined and walked away, and we'll continue to look for accretive deals. But just by allowing our almost 200-strong royalty portfolio to come to fruition, 
we have industry leading growth and that's underpinned the one and a half percent yield in our stock. We introduced the dividend earlier this year. And I think there's a high prospect that will increase that dividend over time as this cash flow growth is crystallized over the coming months and years. Well said, David. It's always a pleasure. I'll let you get back to the conference. I know you're busy. Thank you so much for your time. Anything else to add to that, sir? No, that's great. Look, I, I do believe, as you said, we're in for a prolonged gold bull cycle. And I think that's going to be underpinned by significant inflation that the Federal Reserve, quite frankly, is powerless to avoid given the little latitude they have with debt service. Couldn't agree more. Thanks again, David. Thank you, Gordo. Hey, everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.